Howdy howdy and welcome everybody to the Minecraftian Server Play Season 1, Episode 16. Now I'm recording these back to back, the last episode after our failure to uh, get to another planet. And I think what I need to do is build like a, uh, a uh, warp ship or something like that. So I think I'm going to build like a space station and I think you turn that like a shipyard... You use it to build ships in space to get to other, uh, other tank or other uh, worlds. So I'm going to be working on some. Uh, I kind of want to make it out of like uh, yellow and orange, like I do my salvager ships in uh, in Star Made and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a uh, automated concrete making machine here, so that we can make some concrete. Mm -hmm. And that'll be two parts, um, two machines. There we go, there we go. And grab another one of you I believe we're going to need. And we'll have to make some recipes for this. So let's, let's go ahead and make yellow. So we'll take, what yellow flowers do we have? Uh, they are... Daisies or daffodils? Dandelions. Maybe it's dandelions. Yes. Okay, so dandelions. Need one of you. And we'll go ahead and do you for that. And then we need some orange. And then we have orange tulips for that. Not a lot, actually. So we may need to do red and orange, but we'll see. So then we want to do concrete. Powder. And we'll go ahead and we'll do orange make recipe for that and we'll make one for yellow and do a recipe for that and let's go ahead and make one for white and do a recipe for that so let's go ahead and set these up oh we need a kit um, upgrade kit gonna need to make some more of those soon the way we keep going through them okay so that's going to go there. We'll put that there and you up there. And I think it might be overpowering the system from that uh, energy acceptor. May need to put another one over here. That might actually help with the power. But anyway, for now, we'll just keep doing it like this. So we'll put you there. We need to upgrade you. And come under here and put you here however you need to be water which is um, what did I make black black blue okay that's what I thought just needed to make sure so get a couple ink sacks and some lapis okay perfect There we go. Oh yeah, we need to put those back links in the system and do black, black, and blue. And you should be water, yes, okay. And we'll fill you up there and we'll pump you out there. Perfect, excellent, okay. And there you go. You need power, you need to um, accept fluids from the bottom, and you need to output to the output and input to the top. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's get you some power. Okay, so we'll put you, you there. Take you, 
put you in the system and then go ahead and put you in the system put you in the system and then we need uh, energy ducts Flux ducks 4000. I think that's what we were using back there. Don't remember. Might have been the default ones that I haven't upgraded yet. Yeah, it is. So let's go ahead and do you and you. Get my magnet out. Okay. been needing to do this for a long time so apparently maybe this will help with the power throughput for this okay okay and then only one more it looks like huh so let's break you do you and there we go. Must be collecting those from outside. Long range on this. Okay. Put you back here so you stop. And let's see. So you're the concrete. So you go there. And then again, I need to reclaim all of these because these are not necessary but why do I have orange there I put the wrong one in there didn't I yes I did okay in there and then we'll go ahead and leave you there we don't need you and then forgot how these worked in one of the episodes thought I needed a bunch of them instead of uh, getting the patterns back so that's why I created so many okay in there so we got these back so that's good and go ahead and put you there uh, you know what I did those needed to be processing patterns or those weren't processing patterns I actually need these to actually go in here so we'll move you to the side and we'll do white yellow white yellow orange okay now we need to do the processing patterns so now I need um, well I need concrete powder orange grab one of you and concrete powder white concrete powder white and then do that and grab you and turn you back into processing okay so I need to make these concrete real quick so put you in there and why are you not getting power? Well, that's why. Okay. Move these doors. And still have them on me. Poof. There we go. Perfect. And actually, while I'm there, let's go ahead and put these up. This up. This up. Put you guys up. Put you up before I forget. And let's make an energy acceptor real quick. And put that over there. And maybe, just maybe, oh, wrong one. I can solve the issue. Certus Quartz Dust. So let's go back to uh, Quartz Glass. I think I have a recipe for that. Yes, I do. 
and we'll make a hundred. Actually, no. Um, just make the tube we need at first. Then we'll make a hundred. That way it finishes sooner. And then energy acceptor. And poof, there we go. So we'll go ahead and put this on this side. And maybe that'll stop power shortages. Um, or it could cause them because it seems to be like when this goes dead, if I uh, break that and then set it back, the whole thing gets power again. So maybe having more than one's actually messing the system up. I don't know the throughput power of those. So hopefully having that over there works well. So concrete. We're going to do the white concrete powder, and we're going to do the orange concrete powder, and we're going to do the yellow concrete powder. And then white, white, orange, orange. So we'll do this because we're going to need more of those. Perfect. Okay. So, yep. Power. So. Okay. Now. Concrete. Okay. Orange. White. And yellow. Okay, so we'll start with the white. We'll make white concrete powder, make sure it's on processing. And there we go. Then we'll do the yellow concrete powder. Yellow concrete. Okay. And then we'll do orange. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. And then we will put you in here. White, yellow, and orange. So now we can make plenty of those. Okay, so we'll go to concrete. And then turn on crafting. And uh, I don't want the powder. I want the actual concrete itself. So let's make, and this is going to take a while. So let's make a thousand of you. And we'll make a thousand of you. Missing yellow floral powder. Didn't I? Oh, okay. I did the wrong recipe. So. Yellow concrete powder. You craft in yellow concrete powder. And then I want that to be there. That's what I want. Okay. Instead of using the mist, uh, the Batania concrete. So, and then orange concrete will make a thousand of you. And we have enough, yes. Okay, and we'll go change you out. You're here? No, that was. Floral yellow powder. Okay, there we go. Now that'll work. Okay. I mean, I could have made a recipe for the recipe for the floor, floral yellow also. But uh, I don't think I have that many botania flowers. I need to actually get a uh, uh, one of the botanic uh, void miners. But concrete, and we'll do yellow.
Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. Had to answer the phone. Okay, so where were we? I believe we're crafting concrete. So we should have concrete coming in. Change that. So we've got plenty of white already. So we'll go ahead and we'll use the white for the floor of our uh, build. Actually, space station. Um, hmm. Well, this is going really quick, so I hate to interrupt it. But I don't think we need this much white. So... We'll go ahead and cancel the white. Only had 92 left anyway. So, that should stop soon. Black concrete. I should make one for the black also, actually. And that's going to finish crafting that, which should be what was left in this here. Yeah. I wonder if we could give that another water source um, to speed it up because it's only as slow as it's water. So, I mean, we could put a water, uh, make that signalium plated fluid duct, put another water here. That might be the way to go just to speed that up. So, let's get Ender Tank. And make another one of you. And what are we out of? We're out of wool. We definitely need to make that, uh, uh, put the sheep back in the woot farm. Okay. And let's see. Take, well, we'll leave one there. Just so that it stores, or keeps the placeholder. And then put you back there. And put you there. Take you. Grab some ink sacks and some... Lapis, two ink sacks, and lapis, and then signalium plated fluid duct and a servo. Okay, we'll do that while that continues making concrete because we want more of the orange. Okay, so we'll put you here. Black, black there. And then so that'll still do power. And then perfect. So now we got double the water coming in which seems to be helping significantly. So that's good. And then let's go ahead and get more of the yellow. So concrete. So we'll do maybe three stacks of orange. Put you up and we'll do three stacks of the yellow. Where's, okay cancel you and then did we ever cue the yellow I don't know that we did let's take a look I don't think that I did actually so we will do 1,000 of you interesting okay and concrete and we'll go ahead and craft and then we'll re queue a thousand. And then concrete will re queue a thousand of you also. And then change you back to stored and craftable. Yellow concrete puts you up there. We're going to grab a whole bunch of you in a minute. Okay. concrete there. Wait for that to craft up real quick. And this is 
going pretty quick. Oh, you know what I didn't do, actually? That's probably why. There we go. That's much better. Would help if I actually uh, really had it uh, putting water in there. Okay, so this was for our titanium. How much titanium plates do we have? 117. Let's go ahead and craft some more. Let's get 500. No crafting CPUs are available. Well, I guess not, huh? I'm kidding. So, we'll do. Let's do. Oh, well, I don't have any crafting CPUs available. Okay. Oh, turn that back. Stored and craftable. Let's see how much uh, concrete we have. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that's enough for us to get started. And then we want glass. What type of glass do we want? Now, this is going to be the start of the spaceship. Steel frame glass is good. I kind of like that. I don't know why it doesn't grab a stack anymore like it used to, but who knows. Or maybe some clear glass would be good, too. Kind of like the clear glass. Okay, so we'll do that. And that we'll get some cryo stabilized flux ducts. We will get a uh, flux plug. No, not a plug. Um, flux point. There we go. And I'm gonna make some more of those. Okay. Okay, flux plug and, or flux point, and let's get a flux plug. Well, hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and do that. We'll keep that on reactor port one. So, um, good, good. What else do we need? We need, um, well, we're going to need some type of oxygen thing, but we'll worry about that later. So. Okay, maybe we'll do it now. Coils. Okay. And do that. And then an oxygen vent. And then I think we need like a scrubber. Hotline scrubber. Advanced rocketry CO2 scrubber. So we should have made some more of these. So. Just do five of those, and do ten of those, and do five of those, and do one of you. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and start working on this, and this is going to be put on the, uh, on the satellite bay. Um, white, white, orange, orange, glass, glass. Okay. So, now I don't remember when this launches, which way is the front, because it matters. So, I think I may just, I may just start with a, uh, Come on. One, two, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's even. Don't necessarily really want that even, so I'm going to do 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So since I'm not exactly sure which way it's going to start with, I'm going to... or which way is the front, rather. I'm going to build like this. And I'm hoping that this side or this side is the front, but if it's this side, or if it's this side or this side, uh, that's the front, we'll change these around. I really don't know. So, but we'll find out. Okay. And I like building multiple floor levels. That way you can hide all of the power cabling and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And we're just going to send up a bare bones ship or uh, space station. Now, do I need a guidance computer and a space station ID chip. I think that I might. So the uh, guidance computer and a space station ID chip, planet ID chip, space station ID chip. And I think that's all I need. Then of course I'm going to need a satellite bay for the other rocket. Okay, so, and I don't know if this is what makes it face a certain direction or not. One, two, three, one, two, three, perfect. So we'll put an unprogrammed satellite ID chip in there. Guidance computer. Okay, and let's go ahead and, oh, maybe I put it in there. That makes more sense. That's probably it. Yeah, that makes far more sense. Okay, so. Missing satellite bay. Got his computer, CO2 scrubber, satellite bay. Okay. Do I put the, oh, I put it in here. Well, that makes sense. Okay, satellite bay, there we go. Scan, perfect. And that's going to take forever. So. Let's go ahead and click to build. And. We don't need. All of you. you and then where's my motors the engines okay and then satellite bay and that should be all that's required for that, I believe. I don't think it needs a guidance computer. Not enough fuel capacity. Still not enough fuel capacity. Okay. No, it's probably not enough thrust. 
Really? Okay, well. There we go. And there we go. And let's see what you guys say now. Not enough thrust. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we'll go ahead and do one of you and one of you. That should be more than enough. I think we only needed one. Clear for liftoff. Okay. So once that's done building, I should have shrunk that down, but oh well. Again, we'll see how uh, this works when we get up there. I don't think that I need anything special. Well, that finishes. I'm going to go ahead and take a trip to the existing space station and take a look what we have here. We have nothing up here. And down here, it's just the oxygen vent and two CO2 scrubbers. And that has oxygen going into it. And I believe... No, that just has oxygen coming up. And then basically an electrolyzer, fluid output. And what is that going to? I'm not sure. Okay. Put you back. So I don't think there's any space station ID thing or anything unless it's hidden somewhere. So let's go ahead and follow this with my trusty B form. Okay, if we could get down there. Space makes this a little bit uh, complicated. So this is going into a drum with oxygen and hydrogen. There's a water tank there. Okay, so signaling flux ducts going across, coming up. So what's this going up to? Nothing. That goes up here and then goes nowhere. To there. Okay, well that makes sense. To another oxygen vent and O2 scrubber. But there is no space station thing. Gas charge pad? Okay. Okay. So, go back here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so... We'll add all of that later. I just want to get this platform up and we'll build from a spacesuit. Okay, so it looks like that has scanned. And now we're going to build. And then when that's built, we'll put it in here and we'll launch this up. And that's probably going to do it for this episode. And then I'm off camera. Maybe I'll stream to Twitch again uh, for building this. But before we actually go to another planet, that's when I'll uh, start recording. Once this is up in space as a station, we can start uh, building on it. And again, this is very bare bones. But I really need to figure out how to tell the direction. That's going to be key. And then uh, from there, we should be able to warp to other planets. And that's my goal, is to get to a whole different planet. And they should be, uh, some of them are like the overworld by this, like this. So it'd be basically uh, generated like this. Now, uh, we could create custom dimensions and then hook those custom dimensions up into worlds like i can make the twilight force the planet and we may work on doing that for one of the next updates um seeing about uh creating new dimensions with custom stuff maybe some are all extreme hills maybe there's a whole jungle world or something instead of just being all overworld so it'd be pretty cool to uh 
to tinker with some uh, different dimensions and actually make our own world and stuff. So uh, I think that'd be a, a fun thing to do and custom tailor our own worlds. Uh, now, we could also do the same thing with our tools dimensions, I think. Um, I don't know, though, since those use power to keep loaded, what would happen in the world if it didn't have the power to load it or if it's, you know, not loaded all the time. That I don't know. So I think uh, the next update, I'll probably add, like, just enough dimensions if it's updated. And uh, we can custom tailor dimensions. And that'd be pretty cool. So... Once this is done, I'll load it up into the rocket and blast it off. But how do I get the station ID chip? I wonder if that'll give it to me when it packages the space station. Cause, uh, and I think I need to copy it because I think I need it to actually go up there. So... I'll load up the space station, but I need to make a copy of the ID chip so I don't lose it. Um, and I need to figure out how to copy those chips. Because um, that would definitely suck to lose that. And then you just have a space station sitting up there in essentially a dimension you can't get to. Okay, this is almost done. Yeah, I definitely should have lowered that down and this would have happened in a fraction of the time because it's a relatively slow process. And then, where is this? We'll put you back. And there we go. Now my armor's all full again. Actually, while we wait for you, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys back in here. I don't need you, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you, and don't need you, I don't think. Planet Selector, don't need you either. Okay. Need the linker tool to give that rocket fuel. Okay, so that should be good. And we should have, yes, Space Station ID chip and the space station itself. So we put the space station in the satellite bay and then we build this, which should be pretty quick. Okay, it's built, build complete. And then we link the fuel to here. And then it's getting fuel. And we link this to there. Already linked. That's good. Okay. Now, I don't think I select a destination for this. I think it just goes up. Yeah. Okay, so... There we go. If I did it right, we should have another space station sitting in orbit soon. Uh, that's going to be the base platform to build a warp ship. And I don't know what we'll make it look like yet. Um, can't really do a lot of uh, a lot of things. It depends on if it's going to be a mobile base, I might get pretty extravagant with it. If it's just to get to other worlds, then I might do fairly streamlined. I'm not sure yet. So we'll... Uh, give it some thought um could do like the uh, Corellian corvette uh but that's a long involved build and would have been mostly white and red uh white and red uh blocks which i can still make uh okay i think that's it it should be in orbit and then with this chip I should be able to make a rocket that I can get on and fly up to the space station with a spacesuit because we didn't put any type of room in there, no CO2 scrubbers, no oxygen, no anything. So, okay, I think that's going to do it for this episode, and I will work on uh, 
See, that's not going to work. Uh, you won't be able to put that on it, or you won't be able to put the uh, the uh, matter receiver on it because when it moves, it's changing dimensions, and then you would die teleporting to it with the uh, matter receiver and the uh, advanced charged porter. So, anyway, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.